cork that I'm using, it just broke, so now I, like, I'm gonna have to start all over again. Well, I've really been, like, in the last week, um, testing more of the MX-30 materials. What I'm doing here is I've cut up the felt into, like, little strips, and I'm gonna weave it into this pair of pants here. So I woke up this morning and I've decided I'm gonna spray paint my favorite prototype. Uh, am I nervous? Yes. Do I have a backup plan? Absolutely not, but let's give it a go. All right, this is how it turned out. So considering Kodo as a design principle, I've really been trying to like nail in the idea of creating movement, even if the garment or the person is at a standstill, kind of like the MX-30. So, so far, I'm trying to incorporate the materials, so the vegan leather. I'm just working on silhouettes at the moment and incorporating print. I quite like the I leather exposed. I wanted it to do like a wet look, but then why like, yeah. Just... Why don't you make the leather look wet? Like, why is this? Because this has to be Oh hair. yeah, I could just use that. I would take this off and then I would like bring up the leather do you and try? like do, do it like that. I always consider um, making something that's going to be timeless. That's, I mean, it doesn't have to be a staple, but it's something that wouldn't age as quickly as like a fast fashion kind of piece. Yeah, so I'm thinking about using this recycled cork um, that's part of the MX30 materials design. It's 100% um, recyclable and um, stripped, for, uh, stripped bark from trees, so instead of like cutting it down. Just uh, finished another session at uni and uh, going home to this continue. Is. And this is my life. My bed as a, a bloody storage space. So I've elected to really focus on using magnets and combining that with like clothing. You'd need like kind of heavy duty magnets to really get what you want. In terms of like start the stylistic approach, I am seeing like a lot of um, variables in terms of like how it is with the fabric and then how to see like how it drapes. I expanded upon um, this sort of lush dystopia by sort of referencing these sort of swimsuit archetypes and stuff like that and bringing it back to sort of these um, uh, sort of wetsuits. I think with the Mazda material, um, potentially using it for like accessories and gloves and hats and things that'll sort of add to these looks. I think I actually just tried to bleach the um, the sort of the vegan uh, vegan leather, and it, it just didn't do anything. And I was like, ah, oh, hats off to MX30, you know, it just doesn't have the, doesn't want to change. So yeah, um, yeah. So we did just find out about this pre-runway coming up um, as like a little teaser for what we're actually going to be producing for the final showcase. I'm excited, but also it's a lot of work that we're going to have to now like think about. So yeah, with the pre-runway coming up, I think I'll have a lot of the core ideas working. I also wanted to have a look at the idea of metals and like industrial materials. So this is kind of like a little something that I'm working on. Oh, I'm feel, I guess I'm feeling the pressure a little bit, but um, I think just it's, it's hard to <laughs> separate it from the, just the hurricane of stress that's going on at the moment. 